Hi, in this video, I am going to show you how to configure Coverity Connect to work with a remote LDAP server. Before we do this, though, I would like to show you a nifty tool which we need to download and install on our machines. This tool is a free open source Apache Directory Studio, and it is a LDAP browser so that we can connect to the LDAP server first, gather all the information we need, before we get into Coverity. You can download Apache Directory Studio from the link shown here. In my case, I have already downloaded it and installed it. So I'm gonna go ahead and make an attempt to connect to my LDAP server. It just needs a name first. That could be anything. In my case, I just type LDAP here. Host name is Bill PC. That's my local desktop. And that's where my LDAP server is running on port 389. Let's check the network connectivity. All good. Now I'm going to go to the next step and now provide the LDAP administrators uh, privileges. And the password is Coverity. Obviously, in your case, you need to use your own LDAP servers admins um, user and password. Let's check the authentication. Yep, that's authenticated successfully. So now we can go to the next stage. In the next stage, I'm going to fetch the base DN record from the LDAP server. Let's just do that. And that came here. In this case, yeah, the base record is example.com, which is a sample uh, company domain that we are using. So let's just finish this. Now that we are connected successfully to the LDAP uh, server, let's go and browse the records. First one we see is the best base record here. Let me look at under the base record. I see groups and people. Let's look at under groups. There is a administrators group there and it's got one member and that member is user ID A acres. Let's go and locate that record. And when we look at this record now, we can see all the necessary user attributes and values. Also, we have got base DN record, example.com. And also, we have got the groups, attributes, and values. So at this stage, we have everything we need to go to Coverity and configure it for LDAP connectivity. Thank you for watching and see you at the next session.